Froze Toes Knitted Slippers from Haters Back Off with Miranda Sings. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we are going to make these knitted slippers inspired by the favorite sweet treat, Froze Toes, of one of my favorite fellow YouTubers, Miranda Sings. If you are a Morfanda or know someone who is, these Haters Back Off inspired slippers are the perfect knitting project to keep you cozy while you Netflix and knit. For our materials, we are going to start with number six, that's super bulky weight yarn, as well as number 10 US knitting needles and scissors and a tapestry needle. I have a link in the description below for the exact yarn that I'm using here. It's super cozy. And I wanted to point out we are using a smaller knitting needle than the yarn calls for, so we have a tight weave. To make the pom-poms, you'll also want a little bit of scrap yarn, just a regular fork, and the sharpest scissors that you have on hand. I have the free written pattern on my website. It's directly on my website as well as a printable PDF when you join my mailing list. If you're excited to knit up your own froze toes slippers, please like up this video. You also can save it on your Pinterest board. To make those cute little bubblegum pom-poms, first start with a scrap of yarn and put it right in between your fork tongs and leave it right there and then take the rest of your yarn and wrap it around the width of your fork uh, to make your pom-pom as big as you would like it and then just take those ends and cinch up your pom-pom right here in the middle as tightly as you can knot it up and then on the edges you just go ahead and cut the pom-pom on the sides of the fork edges and lift it off your fork now you'll see that the shape is pretty wonky here so we're going to take those scissors and the sharpest scissors that you have are best and you'll just start to shape your pom-pom until it is the size and the roundness that you'd like so we're going to cast on for our slippers and make sure that you have about 18 inches of a yarn tail right before you make that slip knot because you'll be using that to sew up um, the toe of your slipper. And then once you have that slip knot, we're going to start out with six stitches and the little edge right here, that's your toe. I want to show you just a little bit of some of the particulars of the pattern. You definitely need the written pattern on my website so that you have the sizing and all of the exact row by row on hand. Now we're starting out with two knit stitches and we're going to do an increase that's KFB. So I just wanted to show that to you. That means knit front and back. So you knit one time front, but you keep it on your needle and then you go around to the back to make an increase and knit through that. I have a link to a more detailed knitting tutorial on KFB. Let's do it one more time here. So you knit, you keep it on your needle, you come around, you knit into the back, and that's another increase. And you'll follow the pattern increasing from the toe all the way up until you have the specific number of stitches. Now I'm going to make the large size of slippers, so I am ending with 30 stitches, and you'll see that it has a nice rounded shape. That's where our toe is going to be, right there. Here is the front. I have 30 stitches right here. This is looking at the right side of the work, and here is what the wrong side or the back looks like. And then we keep on knitting. Now this is an SSK decrease I want to show you. So you slip, slip, knit. You're slipping those two stitches and then you're going to decrease by knitting into those two slip stitches with your left needle. And then you take the yarn around, 
knitted on through and where you had two stitches now just one remains and that makes it a decrease again i have knitting techniques if this is new to you down in the description below and here's one more decrease this is k2 together knit two together so you're taking those two stitches and you're going to knit through okay then you just keep knitting in the garter stitch on the heel area and that is super simple so once you're done with the decrease rows then you just continue knitting in the garter stitch and that is knit 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 and here i have completed my garter stitch since i am knitting the large size of slippers i am finishing my piece once it measures 10 and a half inches from the toe all the way to the back of the heel and then it is just time to go ahead and bind off your work all the way down the row and when you cut your yarn leave enough yarn tail because we're going to be using it to sew it up so let's finish it off and right here along that bind off edge here is the right side of the work you can see that pretty curvature and here is the wrong side and we are going to fold it lengthwise with the right sides together so we'll lay it down flat and then we'll bring those two right sides touching and once you have it folded go ahead and seam together the edge i'm doing a really simple little stitch this yarn is very forgiving you really can't see what i'm doing when it comes to my stitching and my weaving and my ends which is awesome so just tack those edges all the way down, weave in your ends, and then cut off your yarn. Let's go check out the toe. So along the top of the foot right here, where we cast on, we're going to cinch up that little toe area. Those were those six stitches that we began with our cast on. And then once you have those all sewn up together, go ahead and just seam up the top of your little slipper right there until you reach the beginning of the garter stitch. Again, weave in your ends, cut off your yarn, and then we are just going to turn it right side out and we can see our beautiful stockinette stitch where the toe area is and our garter stitches near the heel. Super simple, really cute, and totally cozy. Okay, let's finish it up by tacking our bubblegum pom-poms together with our yarn and our tapestry needle. And you are done. I hope you are inspired to knit up your very own froze toes slippers while you Netflix and knit. Bye!